Welcome to the Digital Monk Marketing Podcast, where we share marketing trends and tips as well as interviews to help keep you at the forefront of your industry and top of mind with your dream clients. Here's Monica with the Marketing Minute to share all of her latest industry updates with you. So, Monica and I are Skyping today. It's lovely to see you, Monica. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm lucky to get to see you. Staying social is, uh, is really important at this time. Everyone is going through this crazy time of COVID-19 and... Um, as everyone's sort of noticing online is the space to be because uh, out there in the big wide world is clearly not. So um, how are businesses coping, Monica? What are the strategies? What should people be thinking about right now? I think because things happen so quickly um, here in Canada, especially, we we knew it was coming, but I don't think we really knew it was coming because I I think if we had more foresight that we would be experiencing what the other countries before us were experiencing, we would have been a lot more organized. Right. Um, so I think everyone's acting in a fear right now, which is a, it's, it's the worst place to be making decisions from. Right. hundred percent. So, right. Like we're not, we're not being proactive. We're not being strategic. Uh, we're not being pragmatic. We're just saying, Oh my God, um, sales are, are halted. My, my bricks and mortars is closed. Um, I, people are not coming in anymore. We're all scared. I don't want to see anybody. They don't want to see me. Um, so we are obviously we're acting out of fear. None of us have, have experienced something like this before. Okay. Um, so again, we got to come back to what the strategy is. And you know, Emma, we are all about strategy. Nothing gets done here at Digital Monk Marketing without a strategy in place first. Um, so it's 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 recalibrating your strategy. Right. Right. What are we supposed to do now? Okay. Well, we can still do stuff, guys. There's free <laughs> things to do. Um, and there's things that we that are paid that you just have to be more strategic with your marketing dollars. Um, a lot of my clients are like, okay, just cancel everything. We're we're just not going to spend anything this month. And you know, it's 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 a brief conversation saying, okay, let's really figure out where we need to go with this, um, how we reposition a product or service that speak to the fear right now. Right. Okay, we know that the fear is money. We're not, none of us are making as much money as we were. Uh, we're, we're worried about our mortgage. We're worried about our bills. Right. Right. And we're worried about our health. Yeah. So how is your product or service going to realign with those values right now? Exactly. Like and, and community building, like being genuine, like don't just sell them your stuff, like communicate with these people. <laughs> That's exactly it. Now, these huge brands that I'm seeing still advertising on Facebook, which they should be, haven't changed their messaging. It's like they, they had this campaign running from the beginning of the month, and now this big life-altering uh, virus comes through, and they're still talking like nothing happened. Right. It's baffling so to me. It's baffling. You look ignorant. You look yeah. stupid. And no one wants to do business with you because you look inauthentic, yeah. right? Yeah. Talk about it, you guys. Talk about it being like, this is what we're experiencing. This is what we're willing to do to move with the with the market shift right it's a huge market shift so for instance um if you are um if you are a restaurant and you're still doing deliveries say that everything on just make a point of showing uh, how parts of your menu are um immune boosting right? right hey you guys we're all scared about getting sick right now these are the, the these are the items on our menu that are immune boosting that are really going to help you here are some recipe ideas that you can make at home Again, just like you said, Emma, engaging with the community with information that really matters. No one cares about anything else right now, but the, the issue at hand, right? Exactly. Um, hey, we're delivering so you don't have to leave your house. Um, these are the measures that our delivery people are taking to make sure they're safe and that you're safe. These are the measures that we're taking here in our kitchen to make sure that every everyone is safe because people want to know that you get it. And they also want to know how you're doing it. That right. it's just not lip service, right? Exactly. Like, just be genuine, be caring, and people are gonna consider your business. They're gonna be more. Gra- they're gonna gravitate more towards you. I I totally agree. And I think just before we jumped on this podcast, you were saying it's like um, being just so authentic and real. Everyone is experiencing this stuff. Yeah. Just because we're a business owner, um, trying to attract new clients or or keep our current clients, we're still we're still in fear too. So to communicate that in your blogging in your, in your messaging and saying, yeah, I get it. I'm there with you. Like I'm here with you. I I get it. I'm not above this either. Mm -hmm. So again, changing your messaging, changing your value proposition on how can I help you during these times? How can my products and service now 
be defined differently to assist you in this time. Um, I know a lot of the car dealerships that we work with right now, they have um, done extensive messaging on if you leave your car for servicing, this is how we clean your car before, this is how we clean your car after, this is how we sanitize. We make sure that we use a protective cover over your steering wheel and in the driver's seat. Um, they've made videos about it. They've used different ways of communicating to assure you that once you pick up your car from servicing, you are not going to get sick. They right. have taken every measure possible mm -hmm. to make sure that they kept your car sanitized, right? So, and that's actually really helped in cancellations of services because a lot of people are like, well, I'm just not going to service my car right now. Right. Uh, but, but this messaging sent through email, um, communicated on social media and on their website has helped a lot of people keep their, or be confident in sending their cars for servicing because they're like, okay, they're taking every measure possible. They're being safe. Um, and I feel good that I, I won't get sick dropping my car off. They're even doing mobile payments. So don't even get out of your car. We will pick up your key from your car. You can leave. We can do mobile payment. You don't even have to get into the dealership. Amazing. And other dealerships are doing ballet. Hey, we'll right. pick up your car. We'll drop it off. So be innovative, you guys. There's so many different ways of you can still doing business. Just make sure you're making your consumer, your, your end user feel safe and that you're in the same position that they are in. Right. I also feel like this is a really good time for people to be able to sit back and strategize. Usually if you have a bricks and mortar and you're go, go, go in your store all day and say yeah. maybe now your store is actually closed and you can't be there, this is a perfect time to just sit down, take a breath. I know you're going to be panicking about all the other things, but maybe this is that moment when you're like, I always wanted to start my online store, or I always wanted to start doing more digital strategy or reaching out online. Maybe this is a perfect opportunity to just take a day and, and create a strategy and come up with some ideas of how to switch over to online. What, what are your thoughts on that, Monica? I think, I think you nailed it. I think a lot of times as business owners, we're always so go, go, go doing the dailies that we forget about the big picture. And this is the time to be doing it. Um, this is the time to sit back and, and see what your competitors are doing. Do your competitive research, um, figure out where you want to be and then, and then try to close that gap. So you know where you are, you know where you want to get, create a strategy to get to your goal point. Right. So absolutely, this is a great time for you to sit back. Mm -hmm. You're not making the sales you're doing. You're not managing your staff. Um, go and do your competitive analysis. Who do you want to be online? How are you creating that showroom online? And how are you driving traffic to that conversion? Because let me tell you, uh, conversions are up by 25%. Sales are up right now online. Um, this is fact. People are, are There's tons of articles out there right now from Forbes, um, Harvard Business, that sales are up online. And right. why is that? Because we're social distancing. We're bored. We're, we, and we need retail therapy exactly. still, right? And this is the perfect window for... Um, coaches like pe people I'm seeing on Instagram are like just freaking out like with joy that they can't go to the gym but a, a trainer is doing daily free coaching online um, there's like kids fun dance groups on zoom and like s people are getting creative people are doing things that build community and this is a really awesome way to launch your brand to a really good community online the other thing to think of is and this might sound a bit of a bummer, but <laughs> um, uh, something that I heard this morning, which was genius, is release the outcome. We don't know what is going to happen. You're right. And strategizing a business based on something that you think, uh, say, April 31st, we're all going to go back to normal might not be the case. So release the unknown, work with the now and do what you can that is my opinion, A, going to be positive for your mental health, <laughs> B, going to make you feel really good as a business owner. So you're not just like, okay, the store is closed. I'm just going to sit at home and stare at the wallet and rock in the corner. But like you can be super productive for your business. You can create really great online content. You can be building an incredible community online, whether you're a fitness coach or you make smoothies or you like they're pretty much anything a car dealership you can you can go for a drive in your car and be like hey let's go out to the wilderness and walk the dog and I'll take you on a little video tour with my new car like there's so many really community centered things that you can do online um, if you're feeling like uh, how can I be productive with my business at this point and Again, release the outcome. We don't know. We haven't been given a date when we all open up again, when we all get going again. So so start trying to shift that positivity into like, what? how can I work with what I'm, I've got right now? 
Yeah, I totally agree with you. I I think it's so important to shift that mindset being like, okay, how can I make the best of this time right now? Mm -hmm. And you're right. Everyone's getting really innovative. So how can you get innovative in your business and stand out among your competitors right now who aren't showing up? You got to show up for your clients right now. You got to show up for your audience right now in your community, because you will be top of mind when we get through this, you will be top of mind that you were there to support them through these difficult times. And when they're ready to to do business, you're going to be there on, you know, you're going to be the number one call they're going to make because you were there for them when no one else was. Exactly. So I think it's so important, again, to make, build that community, just like you said. I also think that this is going to really shift marketing. It's going to shift the world 100%. Yeah. The way we do business, the way we see things, um, it's going to shift us as individuals and as a community as a whole, um, micro and a, and a macro global level. But I think what's really um, an obvious change that's going to happen, and maybe just obvious to me, but um, marketing the way we message is going to change big time on this. We're already in a shift of being more authentic and organic, and it has been on that 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 way for the last couple of years. But now, especially after this is done, we are really going to start rejecting things that are too polished yeah. um, to a point where it's just not even going to work at all. Right. Like people are still getting away with it being work it, with it working, but now that a lot of the brands who are smart and are agile enough to um, shift their strategy during this time. That's all people are going to want to consume are really organic, really real content, really real ads. Anything else is just not going to work. So right. when you're when you are taking this time to re-strategize, think about how you can be more real. How think about how you can be, um, how you can connect with your end users in a really real heart-to-heart way, because that's the only kind of messaging, that's the only kind of energy that's actually going to convert and that's actually going to work now. Right. Um, yeah, so I, I can make that a guarantee now is that the way we have to message, the way we will be messaging after all we get through all of this, it's going to be, um, it, it's not going to be smoke and mirrors. It's going to be what's real. It's going to be the good, the bad, the ugly all together. Yeah. And the, I guess the the upside of that is is if you are a small business owner or an entrepreneur and you're you started your business from passion and it's something that you've always just wanted to share with people, maybe your donuts are the best on the planet. (laughs) You're just so passionate about that or you're passionate about health or fitness or music or teaching languages or anything that you can start to shift online. If you're passionate about what you do, you're going to be okay because you're living your passion. If your focus is money right now, you're going to be having a very stressful time. So think back on why you started your business why you're passionate about what you're doing and why you want to share that with people because that's going to really help you mentally as well and and when you do that the abundance will come to when the time is right yeah no I agree I I think that positivity that higher vibration thinking um will actually and and here's the thing you can actually create your dream client right now yeah Um, and and the reason I say that is and and cover exactly to your point is you become more positive, you attract more positive people, you attract more positive clients. And those are the clients that you want to have long-term relationships with anyway, right? Exactly. Um, so yeah, you're, you're absolutely recalibrate yourself, not just your business, but yourself. Mm-hmm. Totally. So Monica, any, uh, any final words on, on this or, uh, you know, we're, we're here for people to reach out and we're going to be providing as much content as we can to keep people motivated, keep people going. And, uh, you can reach out for a chat anytime. Um, Monica, what's the best way for people to contact you? Yeah. Call me or sorry, email me at Monica at digital monk marketing.com. Now, if you guys want to strategize, you want, you want kind of, um, guidelines on how to do that. Give me a shout complimentary of course just to give you guys an idea of uh, how to best use your use this time right now excellent all right well good luck everybody and stay positive and reach out and we can you know help you start strategizing and give you some tips to get things on the way and uh get through this so go community go <laughs> <laughs> go community yes Get together yeah. help each other Thanks for listening. And again, do please reach out Monica at digitalmonkmarketing.com for a complimentary chat all about how to strategize if you do happen to have a little bit of time to reflect and think about where you want to go with taking your business online. And thanks again for listening. And we will be back with much more on the Digital Monk Marketing Podcast.